Hi there everyone, we're here in the archives at the Royal Society. Now one of the most famous and important things here at the Royal Society is a journal called the Philosophical Transactions. Many, many years of really, really important papers, but one of my favourite things in Field Trans, Keith, are the pictures. Now today what we want to show you are the contents of a couple of boxes we've just pulled off the shelves here at random. There are quite a few of these boxes, but mm. these are the two that have been chosen by fate or by the White Gloves of Destiny. Mm -hmm. And these just contain plates, pictures. Pictures, yeah. The originals that were used. Yeah, so drawings, watercolours, uh, they're the original materials that would have been sent to the engravers and would have produced a plate for the journal. What's this? This is box PT74. And we've got all these blue folders. Mm -hmm. I'll take my gloves off. So 1834. 1834. So this is the artwork for the volume for that year. And this is numbers 54 to 82 of what was being produced. And who knows? Well, here we go. Who knows what we're going to get? We've got bells and cylinders and diagrams. So this is experimental apparatus for one of the papers in this particular year. But keep turning the pages because uh, some of them will be in series. Others, you'll get a very mixed bag of things. Positions of the floater of a paddle wheel when in motion. Now, of course, as we often say, people can visit the Royal Society and ask to see some of these materials. So if you think we're going too fast, come to London. Come and see them. Spend some time. Look at that. We seem to have some kind of electrodes or something like that, do yeah, you think? Yeah, looks like a piece of electrochemistry there. Oh, that's colourful. So this is a piece of embryology by the look of it. So it's a development of an egg into an organism of some kind. And if we follow the sequence, we'll probably see what it is. Let's see what's next. Is it like a fish or something? Or yeah, it does look like one, doesn't it? I told you we wouldn't know what everything was. Oh, maps, maps. Folkestone Harbour and Dover. Oh, look at that. Coastline of Kent. Keith, I love a good map. Some of these are fantastic pieces of artwork, but I don't think they were trying too hard this day. No, it's, it's pretty simple stuff there. Probably quite key to the paper, of course. Oh, look at that. That's more like it. What happens when this is sent to the plate maker? How do they turn this into an image that could go in Filtrans? Well, they would need to copy it on some sort of uh, printer's plate. So they would need to either engrave it, uh, produce a lithograph on a stone or, or a zinc plate, uh, and then they would need to transfer it to, to, to paper for, for, uh, as a printed item. Oh, here we go. What have we got here? Looks like, like Northern Lights. I think these may be by Charles Piazzi Smith, who was the astronomer royal for Scotland. These are little gems, these are. Oh, look at that. Oh, we've got a few brains here. Hmm. Look at these. All right, Keith, what's in the other box here? Okay, what's this? So this is uh, PT73. PT73. So this begins in 1807, as you can see. Oh, yeah. One of the uh, great artists of this period was a man called Franz Bauer, Francis Bauer. He was artist in residence at Kew Gardens, and he was by far, I think, the most talented painter of this period who was working for science. He's known for his flower paintings. Uh, but we have uh, some drawings here, and this looks like, um, ah, so these are insect drawings. Oh, wow. wow, that's lovely. That is very beautiful. You can see these are the legs of flies, so he's painting black on black and it just jumps out at you. It is so beautiful. There we go. It's a handsome, handsome sea cow. What do you call this, Keith? I say it is a dugong or a manatee. Mm. Okay. I prefer sea cow. Oh, yeah. look at that. Yeah. What's this, Keith? This is a, that's mm. a mess, but it's cool. Kirkdale Cave Vale of Pickering. So this is a paper, a very famous paper by William Buckland, who explored this area, Kirkdale Cave in the Vale of Pickering in Yorkshire and found some amazing things within the cave and we can see here oh look at that illustration of Kirkdale Cave and a uh, geologist maybe Buckland himself going for it so they're walking into the cave there yeah. we have some kind of cross section of the cave that's right and there's a map just here of the the cave system oh this is a very treasure map and uh, of course they found uh, a very large number of animals in there from early periods. So these are things like cave bears, hyenas particularly, which puzzled Buckland greatly. What was a hyena doing in Yorkshire? And he related them to, to modern hyenas from Africa and, and deduced that it was a very 
different environment at that time. So he excavated the caves and these are the materials that they found. And this is really the beginnings of the 19th century realization that there was something called deep time. In other words, there's this biblical time in which the, the earth was created in a few thousand years. But actually this material was, was older. It's the start of that process which leads to a modern view of evolution. Well, Keith, I feel like we've barely scratched the surface mm. of the images in these boxes, yet alone all the other boxes. So I think we might have to come back and do more of these picture boxes at a later date. But this is just a tantalising glimpse of the treasures you find when you open some of these up. Do you know where to start? Do you yeah. know how? Yeah, well, it's kind of obvious because the box is actually the base of the microscope. So you can see straight away that what happens is you just screw your microscope onto the box. So this is the, the as you correctly said, the business end. So now you kind of almost got a microscope. 